surprise is book hug and shaming night. <laughs>
So I prepared a little something just in case, you never know. So I'm glad I get to read this and share it with you today. So even though I have been writing this book my whole life, I haven't been writing it alone. So I'll be honest in saying I wasn't expecting this book to get as much attention as it did. I wasn't expecting or prepared for all the festivals, presentations, readings, and other events where afterwards the audience sitting there listening would confide in me that I somehow unlocked their stories and that they now felt compelled to write them. When I think about my hopes and dreams for this book, it's just that having readers engage with it in such a way that something in them is forever changed. I think it's pretty fitting that I get to share the space today with my editor, Renee Sapakar, and we would sit in this cafe and go over and over drafts of this book, and she'd be like, Shalane, go to the place that scares you the most. And so when she said that, I was able to actually write this story in the way that it needed to be, to be written. So I'm really happy to share this space with all of you today, and you Nina, Curtain for that lovely, lovely speech, and I just love you so much, so thank you. When I think about all the writing and the rewriting and the frustration and the all-consumingness that writing a book can bring, I am thrilled that I got the chance to wander the city with my good friend, Jade Melnichuk, who's here, and she did all the photos in the book, and it was just the best. So thank you, Jade, very much. So I remember reading the email from my publisher, Book Hug, that they had accepted the manuscript and that they were excited to work with me. I am thrilled that my book found a home with them. To my friends and family, especially Richard, who's here making a little video, <laughs> Oliver and my aunts, Karen and Virginia, who all supported the very idea of this book. Thank you. When writing about my own history, as I knew it to be true, there was a very special woman who showed me what it meant to be strong. To have a mother who jumped over every possible obstacle thrown at her feet and still somehow found a way to eventually build a home from nothing. I am grateful. My biggest thank you goes to my mom, who is the only one who could have taught me everything I needed to know. Thank you. Why it felt so special 